We're going to take a look at ZipWP's blueprint feature. I think it has a lot of potential for someone in the agency space for time saving, as well as somebody in the creator space, someone like myself, where I want to share assets with maybe members of my all access community. And I want to make things that are replicable and shareable without having to go through the process of doing something more cumbersome, like downloading the code snippet, maybe putting it in a zip file. You kind of get the idea. So let's take a look at blueprints for ZipWP. You will need to have a business plan at ZipWP or at least a paid plan at the time of recording this in order to get access to blueprints. You can see here their free plan does not have blueprint sites. So you'll need the business plan. I'll include a link down below where you can get the founder's offer so you can lock in your pricing on that if that's something that you'd be interested in. Once you're inside of your ZipWP account, you can find the blueprints section on the left-hand side and here is where you can create a new blueprint. By default, when you go to create one, it's going to give you the option to blueprint an existing site that you have created or generated inside of ZipWP. I have one site inside of my ZipWP account that I've been playing with that I actually made in my previous video where we took a look at the custom sites and sitemap feature and wireframing. If you want to take a look at that video, I'll link it down below, but we'll select that site and click next. So we'll give ours a name and a short description and click create. And by default, they've given us a link that we can copy. Pasting the link into an incognito window, it's generating what I had just blueprinted from my existing site in ZipWP. Now I've literally done no logging in. I've literally just pasted this into a brand new incognito window. And here we go, I'm inside of that site. I have this little notification that came up in the top right that says, do you need more time? You can create a free account. It's basically telling you, your site has about four hours for you to claim it and save it before it goes away. If I like something that was shared in this blueprint, let's say I was telling people, you know, here you can get my particular page designs and I'm going to share them all with you. So I could come into any particular page that I like. And here's where it comes in for content creators like me. Oh, do you like my battle droid fighting 101 page? Awesome. Just open up the list view, click at the top, hold shift and click down below and literally just right click and click copy. Then go into any website. I'm on my Convology site. You can see down below, I have my Yoast stuff and literally just click somewhere like in the text here and just paste in. And I've literally pasted this page right here from Battle Droid Fighting 101 over to my separate website. This then gives you the opportunity to come in and make your own tweaks and changes, right? You could say, okay, I want to open up my design library. Maybe I've already customized it and personalized it with my AI. And I could say, oh, you know what? That, that header section's decent. Um, and by the way, it inherited my site settings. You can see here. Um, what if I said, you know what? That's decent. I want something else instead. Let's go with this one. I'll click insert. And I've instantly inserted a new header, but I've kept the rest of the page where I can now delete this and say, great. My page is done. Thanks so much for sharing that uh, with me, Doug. So you can see what we were able to do there. We were able to take the process that I would normally have to come in here, shift click, copy this, and somehow, well actually, not just somehow, let me show you exactly how I've been having to share these styles. Let's start there. So I have a page on my website, convology.com, it's linked to the navigation, where you can come and see some of the designs that I have. And in this particular example, let's say that you wanted to get my full screen member dashboard here. Well, in order to share this, I was having to go and get the code and then create a mechanism for sharing that code. You can see these are my Astro Inspector designs. I have others here, but let's say I wanted this one. I was having to make a page just like this and create this custom, actually custom had to build this little Spectra block code copier where the user would have to come in, copy this code, go into their website, and then the process is the same. You just paste it in but this is the step that I'm replacing. So selfishly, it's probably more work for the user, well, maybe a few more clicks for the user to import a ZipWP template really quickly and copy the pages versus just coming here and clicking this and copying it. But for someone like me, instead of having to go through this process of editing these code blocks, which are just tedious to have to do, instead I can just be like, let me jump into my blueprinted accounts here over on my zip wp and let me just generate some blueprints doo -doo 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 -doo, and let me just copy those links and then come back to a page like this and just put a button and it says get this design and they click the button and it spins up the site that to me is super cool 
and it will allow me to share more than just the code for a single page, you know what I could do is I could say, get all of my designs, click here, boom, it imports everything inside of a zip WP site. So let's walk through that component really quickly. Let's say I wanted to copy this design and I wanted to make this design available to the members in my community. I'll go ahead and edit the page, open up the list view, click through the containers, right click copy. I'll come into my zip WP site. I can create a new blank site. I could call this my asset library, one click login into my site. I would need to add in the Spectra plugin. And I would want to add the Astra theme just for good measure. Go to pages, add new. We could call this my design library. Click here, paste in. And now we have the exact same design. I will note it inherits the typography and the styling of the site that it's being pasted into. It's one of the features of this. So if this is technically on my site, my brand blue, but I can easily edit that under the customizer. And I have a whole video on this, by the way, on my channel, but it will inherit all of the spacing and styling and fonts, etc., of the site it's pasted into. But I can preview it and I can see, relatively speaking, how quickly that was able to be shared. Now I'll come back into my Zip WP site, go to Blueprints, create new, add my asset library as a blueprint, click next, give it a title, click create, and instantaneously, I have a link that I can copy and go through the same process we already walked through before of generating a site where they can copy and paste those designs right into their own site. And since their site will have their theme styling set up and their typography won't be something ridiculous like Times New Roman, it'll look better than that did in the example I just did. But now here's what's cool. I can come back into my asset library site, which is now marked as a permanent site, by the way. I can come back in here, I can open it up, I can go to my asset library, go back to pages, go to my design library. I can make a tweak to this, right? Like I can make this be a different color entirely, or I can change this real quick just to say test. So it says templates and test, right? There we go. I'll come back to my blueprints. I'll come back to my uh, asset library. I'll regenerate it. It has been regenerated. I'll then copy the blueprint link. I'll open up an incognito window paste in the blueprint link, generate a new site, and in under 30 seconds, I have pushed an update to my design library in this example. See there, templates and test. So in just a matter of seconds, I've pushed an update out to my template that I can tell everyone there's a V2 of my design library. If you want to use it or you're currently using it and you want an updated version, you know, go back, click the link again, spin yourself up a temporary site, Go in, go to the list view, find the part that's been updated, or if you just want the whole thing, right click, copy, and go paste it onto your site where it will inherit your fonts and everything, and it will be good to go. So I hope you followed along. I think if you're a content creator or someone that's in a similar position to me where you're creating assets and sharing them with people, or you're creating sites and sharing them with clients, and you're wanting to do handoff in a way that's more efficient, I hope that you're seeing the potential that ZipWP has created for us to be able to very quickly spin up our assets on a larger site scale. I know my example was just showing one particular page, in which case the efficiency there is kind of questionable. But if we're dealing with an entire website and we're saying, let's use this as an example, I'm an agency and I'm building sites for clients. Let's say I've got five to 10 site designs that I really like, I build them out. And when my team needs to go build a website for a new client we just signed up, we can open up our Zip WP blueprints, push a button, spin up a site, take that entire site and copy it over to a permanent environment. And now we have, with the click of a button, efficiently avoided a ton of other work that we would normally have had to do to duplicate a site. And we've spun up a site probably in about 10 minutes. And now we're already at the stage of customizing it using Spectra and building something pretty remarkable. The feature is already pretty good, and I'm definitely intrigued by where it's going to go in the future. If you're interested in checking out ZipWP, I've got links in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or check out the Convology All Access membership. But that's it for this preview slash tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.